In this video, we are going to download vector layers from OpenStreetMap. In fact, all the features that you see on this nice backdrop map from the Quick Map Services plugin, which is a picture, can also be downloaded. And an easy way to download it is to use the Quick OSM plugin. You can find it in the Plugins Manager. Let's install the plugin. Now you'll find a new icon in the toolbar. Click the icon. When you first use it, you'll get this pop-up where you should agree with that you understand the copyrights. It also displays how to acknowledge OpenStreetMap as a source when you use it. OpenStreetMap works with keys and values. You can find them on this website. And you will see here the different keys and values. You can see in the element column if it's available as points, lines, and or polygons. It comes with an example for uh, the legend and a picture on how it looks like and statistics on the amount of features that are available. That's a big website, so you can do a search. And here we search for river and I find that the key is waterway and the value is river and that it's available as lines. Let's add that to our QGIS project. So to download the rivers, I choose for key waterway. You see it auto completes and I choose for value river. It's very important to choose an extent. Here I choose the layer extent of the Ruhr catchment boundary polygon. Under the advanced section, you can choose if you want it as points, lines, or polygons. Here I want the rivers as lines, so I have only lines checked. You can increase the timeout if your internet connection is slow. When I run the query, it found here the layer and it appears in QGIS. Let's bring it to the top and change the styling a bit to make it uh, more visible. And now I can compare it with our delineated uh, river. Note that the downloaded layers from Quick OSM are temporary scratch layers if we have not indicated to save it in a permanent layer. Later we'll make this permanent, which is important if you want to keep the layer. Let's download another feature. An important feature in the study area are the quarries. You can find them with the key land use and value quarry. I use the same layer extent, the rural catchment boundary polygon, and under advanced I select multi polygons because I want the mines as polygons. I run the query and it downloads all the mine polygons. Here's a big one in the study area, an open pit lignite mine. Let's add some styling. I give it a gray fill. I add an extra styling layer and I change the fill style to diagonal. I also change the fill color of this layer to black. Now let's add labels. The layers downloaded from OpenStreetMap in this way have uh, many attributes and there are name attributes with also translated names. Here we just use the general name in the name field. And uh, let's make this a bit more readable. Change it to italic and let's use a text buffer. If I zoom out, I see a lot of labels that are going over the polygon uh, boundaries and uh, many of these names have spaces, so I can wrap it on a space so it goes to uh, different lines in the label. Change the alignment to center, so they're nicely centered. In the rendering tab, you can select an option to only draw the labels when they completely fit in a feature. That of course depends on the zoom level. Now let's make this layer permanent. You can use the make permanent option or you can export. With the export tool, you have more um, options for the output format. So I can also modify the projection here and save it to our existing Ruhr data geo package. Now it's there and added to the layers panel, but without the styles. So I'm going to copy the styles and paste it. And now I can remove the temporary scratch layer. I'll do the same for the rivers. So I choose export, save features as. Choose our existing geo package to add it to. Change the layer name. 
to rivers and change the projection to the one of our project and click OK. Now copy the style and paste it to our geo packages layer. And you can remove the original one now. Now let's download a few more. Let's uh, download the dams in this uh, layer extent of our catchment. And I would like to see them as lines. If you're very much uh, zoomed out to the whole catchment, it makes more sense to have them as points. And let's also do the lakes, which is natural key and value water. And they are polygons. And finally, I want to add some uh, points with the springs. So let's change that to points and run the query. Let's change some uh, styling here to make it nicer. Let's start with uh, making it first permanent, then we don't have to copy the style later. So I'll export uh, the dam to our geo package. Use the projection of the project and then remove the temporary layer. And let's style the dam. Let's zoom into a nice uh, dam. Here we see a line. We cannot uh, really distinguish it from uh, the lake. Also, the line of the dam needs to be above the lake. So the general order is points, lines, uh, polygons. But sometimes you want to deviate. Now here we have the line and we make it a bit thicker. It's a thick back black line. But I add an extra layer for the styling with a marker line. And there I can select another simple marker to be superimposed to our line. I choose this vertical line and then you can get this nice effect. And let's also increase the stroke width a bit and the size of the line. Let's style the springs. I first export it to the geo package. Use the projection of this project. There it is. I remove the temporary layer. And now I'm going to style the springs. Let's have a look where the springs are. See some points here. And I'm going to change the simple marker to an SVG marker. And go to symbols and I use a blue marker there because blue can be related to water and I make it a bit bigger and here we see our springs. Now let's do the similar procedure for the lakes but we have already styled the lakes uh, previously so I'm going to export this to the geo package. Call it lakes, use the projection of the project, click OK remove the temporary layer and I'm going to load the project uh, from uh, the first chapter where we made a nice uh, styled lake and the nice thing is I can just copy the style from another project and paste it here to our layer and now we have our lakes nicely styled just need to tune the labels a little bit so labels need to be adjusted uh, to the zoom scale and uh, the way you want to present it. So you can choose different units. You can use uh, millimeters or points, but you can also use meters at scale and then it scales with your map. But also the color here is not very readable. So I'm going to change the light blue color to a bit of darker blue. That's uh, nicer. And also here I want to make sure that only labels are drawn when they fit completely uh, the lake. I'm going to adjust the order of the layers. So the general order is points, lines and polygons. But normally we put the rivers below the lakes. Otherwise the line will continue through the lake. And of course the raster layers need to be uh, at the bottom. Otherwise they will cover the vector layers. 
And finally, we want to also save this project in the geo package. And you can have multiple projects in the geo package. We already had uh, the Ruhr project, but we save it now under a new name. I'll just call it chapter 5 and click OK. So in this video you've learned how to add vector layers from OpenStreetMap to your GIS project and to uh, make those layers permanent with uh, some nice styling and save it in a geo package.